Stratus and cumulus are two basic classifications. Stratus and cumulus are classified by their formations. Clouds that are formed when the air current rises, piled up and puffy, inflated. They are called cumulus. Cumulus means piled up or accumulated. Stratus and cumulus are two basic classifications. Stratus and cumulus are classified by their formations. Clouds that are formed without up and down move. This information's the latest. Cooled without rising and sheet like or layered, sheet like or layered, they're stratus. Stratus and cumulus are two basic classifications. Stratus and cumulus are classified by their formations. Two other cloud forms are cirrus clouds, which are very high and thin, and nimbus, which are heavy rain clouds. The prefix alto, meaning high, is also used to describe clouds, as for example, alto cumulus and alto stratus. Still other cloud forms that you can see in the sky are cumulonimbus, nimbostratus, cirrocumulus, and cirrostratus. Like the phases of the moon, two pairs of words can be used in naming types of clouds. The first pair is stratus and cumulus, while the second pair is alto and cirrus. Hercules is an heroic character used in Roman myths. However, if he were real, he would have spoken Latin the source of many words used in science. For instance, he would have used the word stratus to mean blanket. Today a layer of clouds which looks like a blanket is called stratus. Cumulus is a word that means to accumulate. As these clouds accumulate water vapor, they sometimes look like pillows. However, you can also find many other shapes in these clouds on a lazy summer day. So remember, cumulus. Alto is a Latin word meaning to raise high. Meg might say, raise your sword high. However, meteorologists or weathermen use alto to mean the middle. Clouds that are above the lower level but below the highest layer of clouds are called alto. The highest clouds are called cirrus, which means curl. These clouds have curls like Meg's hair. We can name all but two of these cloud types with the pairs of words that we have talked about. Then, we will name the last two clouds using only one more word. Let's get started. First, we will name the stratus clouds. These clouds often touch the ground and are called fog. However, they can reach a height of two kilometers. Still, they blanket the sky and are called stratus. Altostratus is a cloud belonging to a class classified by a generally uniform gray or bluish gray sheet or layer, lighter in color than nimbostratus and darker than cirrostratus. 
The sun can be seen through thin altostratus, but thicker layers can be quite opaque. They can look similar to lower altitude stratus clouds. Altostratus clouds are formed by the rising of a large air mass that condenses into a cloud. They can produce light precipitation. If precipitation increases in, in persistence and intensity, the altostratus cloud may thicken into nimbostratus. Altostratus clouds occur at heights between 2 and 6 kilometers. Cirrostratus clouds are thin, generally uniform clouds composed of ice crystals capable of forming halos around the sun or moon. They are usually located above 5.5 kilometers. When thick enough to be seen, they are whitish, usually with no distinguishing features. When covering the whole sky and sometimes so thin as to be hardly discernible. Cirrus clouds generally refer to very high clouds that are characterized by thin curled strands often bunched into tufts, leading to their common name of mare's tail. The word cirrus is Latin for curl, and cirrus clouds commonly resemble curly hair. They range in color from white to a faint gray. Cirrus clouds are on average about 1.5 kilometers or 9300 miles thick and the center of the cloud is around 9 kilometers or 5.6 miles above sea level. Cumulus clouds are a type of cloud with noticeable height and clearly defined edges. They are often described as puffy or cotton-like in appearance. Cumulus clouds may appear alone, in lines, or in clusters. Cumulus clouds often lead to other types of clouds such as cumulonimbus. These clouds usually have a base of 2 kilometers, but their height can reach 6 kilometers. A stratocumulus cloud belongs to a class of clouds which looks the same as altocumulus clouds. However, stratocumulus clouds occur at a lower altitude, usually below 2.5 kilometers and are much larger. These clouds can reflect heat from the sun or reduce the amount of heat loss during cold nights, resulting in less extreme temperatures. Dull weather is a common expression used to describe overcast stratocumulus days. Although stratocumulus and altocumulus clouds appear to be the same, a simple test can distinguish these clouds. Hold your hand up between you and the sky. If the cloud is about the size of your entire hand, it is stratocumulus. If it is about the size of your thumb, it is altocumulus. Both stratocumulus and altocumulus clouds belong to the class of clouds called cumulus. As noted in the previous slide, altocumulus clouds are both smaller and usually higher than stratocumulus clouds. Like other cumulus clouds, altocumulus clouds are usually white or gray and often occur in sheets or patches with wavy, rounded masses or rolls. Altocumulus often are seen preceding a cold front and their presence on a warm, 
humid summer morning frequently signals the development of thunderstorms later in the day. These clouds can resemble flying saucers and may occasionally be mistaken for unidentified flying objects. Alto cumulus generally forms about 1.2 kilometers to 6.1 kilometers above ground level. Cirro cumulus clouds are one of the three main types of high altitude clouds which also includes cirrus clouds and cirrostratus clouds. They usually occur at an altitude of 5 kilometers to 12 kilometers. Like other cumulus clouds, cirro cumulus clouds signify upward air currents. Unlike other cirrus clouds, cirro cumulus include a small amount of liquid water droplets, although these are in a super cool state. Ice crystals are the predominant component and typically the ice crystals cause the super cool water droplets in the cloud to rapidly freeze, transforming the cirro cumulus into cirro stratus. The last word which you need to use to name and to understand basic cloud formations is nimbus. Nimbus clouds mean rain clouds. Therefore, a nimbostratus cloud is a stratus cloud which is built up into a rain cloud. A cumulonimbus cloud is a cumulus cloud that builds up in a spectacular fashion and can produce rain, lightning, hail, high winds, and sometimes dangerous tornadoes.